Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today's hair tutorial. So today I am bringing you, as I said, this hair tutorial which was a very, very requested video recently when I asked you guys what you kind of wanted to see from my channel, what you wanted to see for the spring, etc. A lot of you said, I want you to do a hair tutorial or how you do your hair or how you curl your hair. So I kind of put it all together. Here I'm talking to you about some of my hair care favourites. I'm also curling my hair for you and I'm also sh showing you my brand new Blonder Locks. I really, really hope that you enjoy this video. As I said, it's very, very highly requested. Requested. So if you have any other requests that you want to see, I would definitely get them sorted out for you like this one. Please be sure to stay till the end, keep an eye on how I curl my hair, what products I use on a daily basis, which ones I'm trying out at the minute, and just generally other information about the products that I am using. I really, really hope that you enjoy this. Please continue to watch and don't forget to click that like and subscribe button and I will see you guys at the end for another chat. Okie dokie then, so first things first, let's tie this mop up out of the way and then I'm going to explain to you a little bit more about the products that I use today and in general and we'll just get started with that kind of thing really. Okay then, so this morning I have already had a shower, washed my hair, dried it. Um, it's kind of obviously been left on this side because it's gone extremely curly. This is kind of what my natural hair is like whereas this is when it's like more or less perfectly blow dried. This is when it's kind of left to like just make its own mind up about what it wants to do. First things first, I'm going to show you some of the shampoos and conditioners that I'm currently using at the minute. And then from there, we're kind of going to just go ahead and curl my hair, show you how I do it. Mainly, I'm going to curl it for like a night out sort of way so that you can see how I use my Babyliss Wave wand. Yeah, let's just crack on with the shampoos and things and then we'll get going with that. Okay then, so today I actually use the L'Oreal Elvive shampoo and conditioner, which I absolutely love. It's the one in the white bottle, which I haven't actually got with me because I currently am using the shampoo. It's barely got any left in it. And I'm actually using the extreme conditioner at the minute, which is actually in the tub. I will link them down below for you all if you want to grab them. But essentially, they are the only kind of cheaper alternative shampoos that I do actually use. So I'll leave them down below. But like I said, I'd kind of like to mix my shampoos up a little bit because I don't want my hair to get too used to one. So I also use the Bedhead by TG Recovery Shampoo and Conditioner. These are in absolute huge sizes, as you can tell. I actually got these from Groupon and I think they're around £12 for the pair. So that's pretty amazing. But honestly, I just absolutely love these shampoo and conditioners. They're obviously a bit more luxury than your L'Oreal's and things like that, but they're still really, really good. So I love these because they're great for dry, damaged, and hair that just needs a little bit of a pick-me-up, especially if you're dyeing it blonde or bleaching it. These are just great for that. So I would highly recommend checking out Bed's Head's shampoo and conditioners if you've never tried them before. Also, you may well be aware that I am an absolutely massive fan of argan oil and oils in general for my hair. If I miss out the step of using oils on my hair, my hair knows about it and it goes extremely dry and cries out for the oil really. So I'm actually in the middle of trying out some new shampoo and conditioners at the minute. This is the Osmo Berber Oil Shampoo in Argan Oil and the Restoration Therapy Mask. So I'm guessing that this is kind of like a conditioner, that's how I use it anyway. But I really, really enjoyed these the first time I used them. I've only used them the once at the minute, so they are still ongoing. But I do really like them, and as I said, I love anything that's got oil in to do with my hair. It's like the opposite of my skin, really, so my hair is willing to accept oil, whereas my face just hates any excess oil being on it. I would highly recommend checking these out if you also like argan oil as well. I really, really love them. I'll also link them down below. And then also because I also love doing a different element of shampoo and conditioning. Obviously, lately, I have gone a little bit blonder. It doesn't look that blonde here at the minute because obviously there's more of my hair that's the brown underneath. But in a second, I'll show you obviously what it'll be like. And I'm actually loving the whole silverizing blonde shampoos. And I've always been a fan of like purple shampoos, but I've been like stepping it up a little bit lately and not using ones that are going to just destroy my hair because my hairdresser tells me that certain ones do actually do that. So I wanted a little bit of a more luxury higher end one. So I'm currently in the middle of trying out these Osmo Silver silverizing shampoo and conditioners they're for blonde and grey tones but essentially these just take any see yellow tones out of your hair and make it more of a silvery grey colour I have to admit the colour of these shampoo and conditioners are quite intense in that they are very very purple so if you've never used these kind of shampoo and conditioners before it can be quite scary the first time because you think oh my god these are so purple are they actually going to dye my hair purple but I personally think that 
it's more of a grey element and more of a silver element when they're finished with your hair rather than it being a purple element so you don't have to worry about that I absolutely love them I use them quite often not all the time maybe once a week maybe like before a night out or something when I want my hair to look extra bright but they're really really good so I'll let you know how I'm getting on with these I'm going to do a review on my blog so you can expect to see that if you want to know in a little bit more detail and I've also got some other products from this range as well that I'm currently trying so I'll let you know how I got on with them on that blog post as well then obviously following my shampoo and conditioner I then go on to the next step which is drying and popping oil in my hair and things and I'm just going to talk you through a couple of the products that I actually do use in this sort of step of my hair care routine as well so as I said an absolute holy grail product of mine is argan oil and I have never swayed away from this one in particular it is the OGX argan oil of Morocco this is a super cheap but really really good argan oil and it lasts forever I literally use the smallest amount maybe like the size of a five pence piece rub it through like sort of maybe this length down of my hair just into the ends particularly focusing on the ends and it really does make the biggest difference honestly this is a step that I cannot live without this stuff comes everywhere with me it comes home it comes on holiday absolutely everywhere and I would highly recommend using an argan oil if you've never tried one before because you will notice a massive difference just obviously be aware do not rub it near the roots of your hair because essentially it's just going to add more oil to your hair I do recommend that and it's an amazing product next then I obviously have a really Really, really faithful brush that I use over and over again it's like the only one I do use and it is the Denman Tangle Tamer Ultra this is obviously like a big paddle brush as opposed to being like one of the handheld sort of um, tangle teasers that you can get that aren't by Denman but very very similar I really like this one it's really big as I said it's a paddle brush it literally makes such a big difference like tattery um, naturally quite frizzy hair like I don't know if you can tell there but that's like so easy to like brush through, brush through my hair it's made it look more fluffy than anything which obviously isn't going to be there for long because I'm going to be curling it in a second I really love this brush and if you've not tried it and you aren't into like mini handheld ones like the tangle teaser I would definitely recommend picking this one up I'll link it down below as everything here as well the next step then is obviously blow drying my hair and currently I am using my Babyliss I can't remember the model of this hair dryer but it is really good I got it for Christmas off my mum it's got this end to it which is obviously removable so you can take that off if you want but I do find it makes like drying certain parts of my hair a little bit easier also what's really cool about this is actually it's a little bit more of a neater more tidy hair dryer so if you've got like very limited space for like storing things and that this is great because what you can do is actually like plug it in to your plug you simply pull out the plug like so plug it in and then when you want to put it away you simply press the button that's actually on the hair dryer here and without hitting myself in the face, it retracts the cable in. It's very quick, so you do have to be like keep a hold of it because otherwise you'll probably put your eye out with the plug. Again, it's just a really good hair dryer, really quick, really easy. It's got like a couple of settings for temperature. I always use it on the hottest one. It's probably not the best for my hair, but I do. I just really love it. I don't even think this was very expensive. So like I say, I'll link it below, but I just find that this hair dryer has got that something extra with this retractable cord. It's really, really handy. So then obviously we're going to move on to actually curling my hair now. And as I've mentioned time after time after time, I use my one true love, which is my Babyliss Wave One. I have recommended this to so, so many people when it comes to curling hair. People ask me like, how do I get my curls to stay in and things. I don't think it's anything to do with what I am actually putting on my hair. I think it's actually to do with what I'm curling my hair with. Because sometimes if people curl my hair with straighteners, I do find they do drop, they don't stay in as well, but I don't tend to use any other kind of curling tongs other than this one. And I just find, I love this one personally because sometimes I, I absolutely hate it when someone else curls my hair and I lose a lot of the length of it. I feel like that sometimes happens with straighteners or with other curling tongs and things like that. However, I think because this is naturally a wave wand, it keeps the full length of your hair whilst adding a beautiful wave to it. You can like do it as much as you like or as little as you like and it adds like something just a little bit natural to your hair. And I just really, really like it. And obviously if you wanted to like not brush it out, you could leave it. I quite often just run my fingers through it on like day one. And also I find my hair still looks probably better on day two after I've slept on it when I've used this. I honestly just, I can't even recommend this tong enough. It's absolutely amazing. You've seen it, me use it in tutorials and things and I've said this, but I just wanted to do a video solely about this really because I absolutely love it. 
and I wanted to show you how I do my hair pretty much every single time I go on a night out. It's always the same. I never really change it up or anything. Maybe just like I'll put a bobble in it sometimes or I'll leave it down or whatever. But I just wanted to show you really in a little bit more detail how I use this and talk to you a little bit about it. Also, let's just talk about the fact that this tongue is also only £20 as well. That is absolutely insane. And for the amount of times I've used it, it's literally like so worth the money, it's ridiculous. And the minute it breaks or the minute it dies on me, I'm definitely gonna have to get a new one because literally I've never found another tongue like this. If you guys have ever found hair curlers or hair appliances in general which you've like absolutely found to be amazing please do let me know because I mean I would be up for trying them if they're if they're amazing I obviously want to get my hands on some so yeah I'm really keen to try actually that Lee Stafford wave one so I'm going to go ahead now and show you how I use this obviously we've pinned a bit of the hair up and I've brushed it through at the bottom I've also like dried it put oil on it etc so I'm actually going to go ahead and do this now so at the front of this actual um tongue you've got the on button the temporary button so the screen here it's four different temperatures and you could choose which one you want I usually go the hottest I used to go the second hottest but now I find that the hottest works the best so what you do is simply use the up button so for example if I wanted to turn it down you'd use this one to a different temperature and then if you want to go to the top one you'd use the up button but I absolutely love it I use it on the hottest setting this has actually been on a little while so it is hot enough for me to use and it takes no time to heat up at all usually like two minutes then what I tend to do is take like a small strip of hair from the bottom layer simply start at the top point the tongue downwards wrap my hair around it it doesn't have to sit between each of the ridges I mean if you could do that that's great but I just kind of like throw it on my hair now and hope for the best and then I leave it on my hair for probably around seven seconds something like that and gradually just pull the tongue out and then you can see kind of what effect it has so you can do it as loose as you like I like tend to leave it like that until I've done the whole layer and then I'll brush through it with my fingers but I just really love the kind of natural curl that that gives and obviously you'll be able to see more when I've continued but for now I'm just going to go ahead and curl the entirety of the bottom layer of my hair and then we'll have a little chat again run my fingers through it like this. I don't use a brush at this point. Day two is usually a brush day on the morning. And it just essentially makes them look a little bit smoother. It makes them all kind of join together into that nice like princessy sort of wave. Obviously my hair's not princess hair. It's definitely not long enough to be princess hair. Yeah, I just really like it when it does that. It makes it look a little bit more natural, a, bit, a little bit more blended together. And then from there, I'll take down the second layer of hair in another bit up again. As you can see as well, it doesn't actually take too much length out of my hair as well, which is obviously what I wanted. So that's exactly what I was saying. It's it's amazing for that. If you have quite short hair that you think loses a bit too much length when you curl it, then this is honestly the best tool ever. It's so good. So obviously from here, as you can see, I've put like the next layer down. What I'll go ahead and do next is curl the next layer. them if you wanted to and stuff with the head it's still to be done on the top so I'm going to take the next layer down and what I tend to do here is probably just leave a really thin amount still up but take it quite far back so obviously you've got like more hair on the back of your head what I tend to do and then I'll just like pin this bit up in the middle so then you've got some hair mainly most of your hair mainly around the sides are down, is down particularly this side and a little bit at the back as well so then I'm just going to go ahead and curl this bit now and then maybe I'll update you when we get to the last layer.
wave there which I don't really like very much so I tend to go ahead and like just curl maybe the tip like the top segment like that until I'm kind of happy with the curl I've got and then I'll maybe go ahead and do this front bit just again depends if you like your hair curly to the root because if you don't then obviously maybe just keep it a little bit lower down or straighten over the the ends there and so there you have it guys that is my hair routine curled using my babyliss wave wand as you can tell my hair is quite like naturally curled at the minute i think it's because i've mainly brushed quite a lot of it out but obviously it completely depends on what you like for if you want to brush it out or if you want to leave it sometimes what i tend to do as well is quite often i will actually pin half of my hair up so if you use like little plastic bubbles or a clip you can like pin it up that if you prefer it and bring some of it around to the front it's entirely up to you how you want to do it I tend to just see how I feel on the day or how happy I am with it or how not happy I am with it or whatever like that. So I really, really hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a massive thumbs up for me. Click that subscribe button down below. Be sure to head over and have a look at all these products that I have also linked down there as well. There's all them incredible like shampoos and all of these appliances that I use as well to curl my hair on a daily basis. I really, really hope that you've enjoyed it and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye!